And of course, I walk into the attitudes of all attitudes at AT&T. That's what they stand for. Attitudes and Tudes. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Alex James. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing amazing. If you are brand new to my YouTube channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell. It will notify you every time I upload a YouTube video. If you are a returning subscriber, how you doing? I forgot to mention this in the last YouTube video. I am going to start putting polls in the top right corner up here. So vote in those. I don't know what this one's going to say, but... Make sure you vote in those. For those of you that follow me on Twitter, I put out a poll the other day, and today's YouTube video, I know, was supposed to be the story time of the rudest manager ever. However, okay, I need to get this off my chest about AT&T, cause honey, they tried it. Quit barking! Hush! So this story time has actually been lingering in my life for the past two and a half months now. AT&T, y'all have been on my chest for the past two and a half months, and I'm about to release it. Now, partially some of this is my fault, but you know what? I don't got time for the attitudes that I don't. Now, let me take y'all back two and a half months ago, okay? I am headed to Raleigh to go record one of the Shidra audios. I believe at that time I was recording the ponytail rap. If you guys have not seen that, it's on my page. I also have some new announcements about the Shidra Raps, I believe I'm going to be creating Shidra a brand new YouTube channel, so she'll have her own little platform, okay? So stay tuned for more details. Anyways, I was headed to Raleigh to record the audio for the ponytail rap. And mind you, this guy lives an hour and 17 minutes away from me, okay? And I've only been there once. So I was relying on my GPS. I'm about 30 minutes away, and I look down, and I'm like, oh, where we... Why does it say no service? Let me do a little booty guru. Y'all see that no service right there? Okay. This right here has been on my phone now for the past two and a half going on three months. Apparently you have to like pay your bill or something. <laughs> I am assuming month one went by, they didn't say anything. Month two went by, they didn't say anything. Maybe they just forgot about my account. I don't know. I don't got no money to pay for it anyways. But how y'all just gonna cut my phone off in the middle of me driving, in the middle of nowhere? I had no signs to tell me nothing. Okay, it was getting dark. It was getting scared. Now, mind you, this is my fault, okay, because my, my phone was not paid for. However, don't just cut somebody's phone off, okay? That's just wrong. That's inappropriate. That's just not nice, right? It's not good business. Now, something I did not know, which I am very thankful for, which I don't think AT&T has anything to do with it. I think it's just the Apple iPhone. If you don't pay for your phone bill, you can still use your phone if you're on Wi-Fi. Like, right now, it says no service. I can text. I can go on Instagram. I can Snapchat. I can still FaceTime. So, that's why I think it has something to do with Apple, not AT&T. So, I'm very grateful. Anyways, my phone cuts off, and I just keep driving down the street, and I'm like, okay. So, my phone's off. And when it turned off, I knew. I was like, oh. so, they called on. Interesting. So about 10 minutes of the road, I see a Sheets. If you don't know what a Sheets is, that's a gas station, like a southern gas station, I guess. I connect to their Wi-Fi, and I hit up the guy, and I'm like, look, I'm about 30 minutes out. My phone quit working. I'm going to see if there's an AT&T store around me so I can pay a little bit on my bill. You know, just, I don't know. A minimum amount, and then your phone get cut back on? Well, there's an AT&T store like 10 minutes away from the gas station that I'm at. So I pull up, and y'all, there's literally no one there. I walk in the door, and it was one of those obnoxious ding -dong. Not even a look. <laughs> like, I guess I'm going to the kiosk. Interesting. I walk over to the kiosk and there are literally dots on the screen. It was almost as if somebody had taken something and stabbed the screen. The kiosk is out of order. So I look back and I'm like, does this kiosk not work? No, sir, it doesn't work. So then why did you let me walk all the way across here? You heard me. Ding dong. Come in these doors. You didn't look at me. You let me walk 30 feet over to a broken kiosk. Don't start with me today. I'm just not in the mood for y'all at all. And of course, I walk into the attitudes of all attitudes at AT&T. That's what they stand for. Attitudes and tudes. So now how am I going to properly be like, I can pay my phone bill and I'm just trying to figure out like how much I can pay. Like there is now no leeway. There is no grace level that I am going to be able to have with AT&T. So I didn't even try. I was like, look, my phone bill needs to be paid for. My phone got cut off. So uh, I just need to know how much it is. And I don't know if while she was typing in my number and everything, somebody gave her a megaphone and connected it to her mouth because when she shouted out how much I owed on my phone bill, whatever, I don't give a Do I look like I got a Because I don't. 500! How many months did I go? That's three months? Three? AT&T? That's three? 
one phone, a hundred and sixty-six dollars a month. Oh no, ma'am. Boost Mobile said hello. Comment down below if you are an AT&T subscriber and you currently have issues with them. All right, guys, that is it for this YouTube video. I have ranted, raved, and sweated enough. And for those of you that have my notifications turned on, the video that I posted, lies that I told on YouTube, y'all saw that it was first titled Six Lies That I've Told on YouTube. She remembers she has one more lie to confess. So if you guys want to hear that one last confession this Saturday, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Also comment down below what I should title that YouTube video. One last lie, one more confession, my confession. If this video gets 15,000 likes, I'll drop that story time Saturday. Look at me, ew. I'm gonna be editing this being like, go subscribe, go like this video, go comment. Bye. All right, I'll see you guys next week or Saturday. Depends on you. It's your call. What do you choose? <laughs>